Hey, what's up everybody? It's Becca, and um, the following video has disgusting graphic images. So change channel if you have a weak stomach, because I'm going to show you, like, blood and guts and stuff, because I just got back from the ER. Um, so, yeah, I'll cut to that quick little clip, and then I'll blah, 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 blah. Hey, what's up guys? It's Becca. I'm in the emergency room. <laughs> yeah. See all the stuff because I... Here, let me put it on a white background. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'll give you an update. Yeah, I did a number on myself, didn't I? Oh my goodness. Um, this hospital bracelet off. So, should I start from the beginning? I was sewing. It's Saturday night, you know, that's what all the hip cool people do, is they like, sew things. Um, and I wasn't even sewing anything cool. This is the worst part, right? I'm sewing a hole that Chico's little freaking dog claw tore my sheets. So I'm repairing my sheets. I'm sewing with my big, big tank of a machine. And um, she's actually right there. Uh, wow. I just, I, we're fighting right now, man. We are, we are not on good terms. I'm seeing my hand and it's, it's, there's a needle going right through it and my fucking hand is like pinned to the damn machine. And, oh my god, I, I, at first, I was like, is that real? I mean, like, it was so surreal that I didn't actually believe that it was true. And then, like, I looked again, or, you know, I was still looking at it, but, you know, like, I reevaluated and I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. And then I went, oh my god, no, I'm not gonna throw up, I'm gonna pass out. And then I went, oh my god, 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 oh my god. <laughs> and I kinda went, oh my god, 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 until I got to the hospital. Um in it actually I like if you know the mechanics of a sewing machine, um <sighs> To get your finger out of the position that I was in, it was not easy. It was not easy at all. Um, first off, when it went through my finger, the other end of the needle actually jammed into, not into the normal hole where it goes, but it jammed into a gap between the little feeder feet. So you probably don't know what I'm talking about, but if you do, then you're following me. So the needle got jammed in there. So the needle wasn't going up, and it wasn't going down. It was... And so when I unscrewed the thing that holds the needle in place, and I, you know, I, I wiggled that down, and I pulled the needle over, and I got that thing off. Then I was, I could not get the needle, I, like, I couldn't get my needle and the finger and all, everything out of the machine. Like, it was, like, part of the thing, dude. And I don't know if I snapped it or what, but if you can see in the picture, the entire needle isn't there. Um, and... Um, here's the beautiful x-ray, by the way, that probably cost me, like, $500. That is just about as close to the bone as I could have gotten. They took three pictures of my finger, so that's why I say it was probably 500 bucks for that x-ray. I only got to keep one of them, too. And, so anyway, anyway, I drove myself to the hospital. I don't know if that was smart or not, but, um... I didn't want to wait for a taxi, and I did not want to wait for a friend. I was flipping out, and I wanted this thing out of my finger, and I wasn't going to rip it out. Because, I mean, it was going through my fingernail, dude. It wasn't like, it was through my finger. It wasn't like through the edge where if, like, it pulled out, you'd have just, like, a little... No, it was freaking through my finger, okay? And I'm flipping out. As soon as I get into the ER... I just start crying, and I'm like, I'm so sorry, but I, I haven't been allowed to cry until I walked into the door, because I needed to see to drive. I couldn't have tears in my eyes. And the whole time I was driving, I was just making up the stupidest songs to try and keep, like, keep me going, you know? I was freaking out. I mean, it's scary. I didn't have anybody with me. I was all by myself. 
Oh, so yeah, we had some fun at the ER tonight, and, um, oh man, they numbed my hand, well, they numbed my finger, they did something called a something splint, and, um, so I got some, some snake bites, and you can still see my, you can probably tell that this whole part of my finger, ooh, that feels so weird, it feels like plastic. I don't even feel that. Oh, that's so weird. Um, ah, phantom limbs. Um, there's so much, they put so much drugs in my finger that it's going to be numb, they said, for like six to eight hours, which is great. Um, when he yanked it out, I mean, I didn't even feel anything. And I was like, that is awesome. And he was like shooting, he was ir irrigating it didn't feel a thing. I was like, thank you so much for that finger drugs, cause yeah. Um, I have no idea how I'm gonna work tomorrow. I'm supposed to be at work in like seven hours from now, which you know, is plenty of time, but um, I wash my hands like I don't know, what, 50 times a day at least. Um, when you work with food, and you have an injury on your hands, and you have to wear gloves all day and stuff, it's kind of a pain in the butt, so I might not be going to work tomorrow. Um, but yeah, now you can officially say that you know somebody who um, sewed their own finger, but not in a good way, not in a good way. Um, sorry I haven't made a video in so long. <laughs> I'm really awful about making videos lately. Like, I have it in my heart that I want to make a video. And then I feel like I look ugly or I don't feel happy enough or I'm just like, it's all in my head and I don't know, I should just get on and make a video. Like, even right now I can see myself in... in I don't look attractive. I look like I just got out of the ER. I'm all sweaty and shit. Mmm. Mmm. Don't get me started on that, too, because I worked an eight-hour shift, and then I came home, and I walked the dog, and then I was, like, sewing, and so I'm probably not smelling too good anyway, and then that happens, and as soon as that happens, I'm literally, like, covered in sweat. I'm, like, so hot, you know, because I'm freaking the fuck out. Oh my gosh, when I got into the hospital, my heart was at 129 beats a minute. And I was like, whoa, my gosh, that's crazy. <laughs> um, okay, I obviously have way too much adrenaline in my system, too. I have no idea when it's going to stop. I know when it does stop, I'll just pass out. And I'll probably sleep better tonight than I have in the last couple nights because of all this... Ah, um... I feel like I should tell you more about stuff, but if I don't, then that'll make me have to make another video. So, I'm gonna make another video later, but, um, yes, admire my beautiful finger. Isn't it hilarious that I went to the ER and I walk out with a band-aid? With a band-aid, dude! Would you have gone to the ER for that, or would you have yanked that shit out yourself? Because I was not gonna yank that shit out myself. That was through my finger. Oh my god. Um, thanks for watching this whole thing, and, um, since you watched the whole thing, let's play a game. Let's guess how much that trip to the ER cost, because, um, they did some serious service at University of Michigan Hospital, man. They had an officer meet you at your car. They free valet parked my car. They literally, like, uh, they just took great care of me. They gave me a warm blanket and, I don't know, three x-rays and, uh drugs to numb my finger and uh, I'm sure they're gonna charge me for the little plastic container that they gave me my sewing needle back in so I have no idea how much a trip to the ER costs these days but I know that this is probably I know it's at least three digits <laughs> and uh, well if it nears four digits I I probably wouldn't be surprised um, I love you all, and yeah, so just make a guess, and I guess I'll figure it out within, they said I'll have a bill within like 7 to 10 days, so, um, yeah, we'll know how much it costs, and I'll tell you, and, I don't know, maybe if somebody that I know wins, then I'll send them a prize. Okay, I love you, and, um, 
peace with my two numb fingers. <laughs> Nasty photos for you to see because you want to see them. Because you're a sick bastard. <laughs>